Hey guys, it's Alyssa here over at Books and Cats and today I shall be doing a book haul. So we're gonna start with what I got the most recent. Um, I went to the library yesterday and at my local library they have a sale where every Friday the books, because they always have books on sale, and every Friday it's buy one get one free. So I found one and then I was like, wait, I have to find another one because it's free. So I got, I got two. I, I mean... I couldn't beat it. First one that I saw that made me interested in the sale was The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Everybody basically loves this book. I know nothing about this and I've been trying real hard not to do that. I'm trying real hard but I know nothing about this book. I just know it was real pretty and it was a dollar so I couldn't really pass it up. I spent $3.50 for all of these books. So the next one that I got that same day for free was one that I saw and I know enough, I know a little bit more about, I know a little bit more about this one, but it's called One Second After by William R. Forstner, Forstner, I think that's how you say that. It is like an apocalyptic book. We'll see how this one fares. If you know anything about it, let me know down below. It's crap. Didn't cost anything, technically. We're looking at this all technically. The next one I also got for free that is Lillian Boxfish, Boxfish Takes a Walk by Kathleen Rooney. Um, my sister got this and she was like, it's free, you want it? I was like, yeah, I want it. So she got it for me and I didn't know. I was like looking through it, but it came with two, two, not one, signed book plates don't even know what happened but it's also underneath the dust jacket which I also find extremely pretty it's like this beautiful mustard color and then like the map in it is really cool like that's a really cool map basically it's about this super old woman who takes a walk and I believe starts going through all of the things in her life I think I think that's kind of what happens this one was just a, a one of those it was one of those buys where like I really didn't need it and I probably won't use it but it's like why not it's so cheap so <laughs> it is the life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo um I am like low-key a hoarder I have personal attachments to most of the things that I own um so I don't know how well this will help me if it'll help me at all next one I got because I think I watched the episode of it but I don't remember what happens so I bought it and it's also a short read and that is Evil Under the Sun by Agatha Christie it is a Poirot novel um there was a point last year I believe it was in July where I watched I didn't have any cable I watched a lot of Poor Row. I watched a lot of it. I'm pretty sure I watched this one. Since that summer, I've been scared. I want to pick up more Agatha Christie, but I found, I think, that I prefer Poor Row to Miss Marple. But I've watched more Poor Row, Poor Row than Miss Marple, so it's going to be hard. Um, I think I'm going to end up getting a lot of these from the library, but this is obviously an ex-library book and stuff like that. But I just figured I'd get it because it was a dollar. The next one I also bought from my local library sale thing that happens. I don't know what this hair is doing. This was actually a case of, I saw who it was by and I was like, huh, interesting. I've never read anything by them before. And I read the back and it actually sounded interesting. So I know what it's about. Um, and that is Everything is Illuminated by Jathryn um saffron saffron forward um and basically it's about a young man who is also named jonathan saffron forward and he finds this picture this old picture and i believe he goes in search of the woman who may or may not have saved his grandfather from the nazis no it's a kind of sounded fun like a fun read funny story with this one i actually got it because I saw the original book and the original book has a really cool cover and it's red and it has, it's black. 
the background's black and it has red vines going down it which was really pretty and um I, tr I was trading a girl for an arc that I had so she showed me what arc she had and I was like oh I'll take that it kind of sounded cool anyway and I really like the cover so I get it and it's actually not the finished cover it's actually I guess the arc was a different cover and that is Teen Frankenstein by um Chandler Baker and I really like this actually more than the finished cover. Basically, I'm gonna read you the back. It is a dark and stormy night when Tor Frankenstein accidentally hits someone with her car and kills him. But all is not lost. Tor, being the scientific genius she is, brings him back to life. Thus begins the twisty, turny take on a familiar tale set in the town of Hollow Pines, Texas, where high school is truly horrifying. So, it sounds pretty cool. I don't know why my house is shaking right now, but it, if you hear weird sounds, um, apparently the people in the apartment above me are playing tap dance. Oh, I think they're working on the apartment above me. So if you hear weird noises, my apologies. That's all I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books. I hope you guys stick around and I hope we'll see you next time. Bye.